Okay, so here we are in Suzuka Racetrack. It's uh, really good for me to, to be practicing on the Gran Turismo right now because I'm going to be testing this weekend in the Super GT300, GTR, Nismo, GT3. Yeah, the first advice I can give to, to, the, to the competitors or to every fan who wants to, to be a racing driver is, is the first one is to take the steering wheel like, as I'm doing, no? and not moving around, not taking the steering wheel from different places. You have to keep your hands uh, really, really on it, on the steering wheel, and being really smooth with the steering wheel and with the throttle and brake pedals. It's very important. I know it's very difficult because we don't have the G-force like in real life, but uh, if you really focus on, on the gaming, uh, you can feel with the steering wheel input that you feel the, the tires and if the car is under steering or over steering into the corner. And another advice is, is to, to look as far as you can. No? Uh, you have to really look further to, to see what's coming on and, and to, to be really accurate on, on your driving. No? Another advice is, you know, like in real racing, like in real racing, uh, you have to use all the track, no? Uh, like for example here on the hairpin, I keep on the inside and full throttle using all the exit of the track, no? The, the less angle, the less turning angle you, you put in, in the steering wheel, the faster you will be. For example, here we we approaching the, the most famous corner in Suzuka Racetrack, the 130R, which should be nearly flat in the GT500. But now I've got hard compound tires, so it's very tricky. <laughs> And here in the chicane, over the curves, doing the less meters as possible, in fact. <laughs> and here, coming into the last chicane, using all the curves, and flat out again into the start-finish straight line. And that's it. <laughs>